Good morning, this is Pastor Lynn with Goodland United Methodist Church. Just a reminder, we only have four weeks left of Wednesday Night Live, so we invite you to come tonight and see what the story is. We continue our saga, 101 Things You Should Do Before Going to Heaven. Number four, read the classics. The Iliad, The Odyssey, War and Peace, To Kill a Mockingbird, Hamlet, Heidi, The Wizard of Oz. Well, that's not one of those classics, but it is a good story. Libraries and bookstores of the world are filled with titles that have earned the name classic. What makes something a classic, whether it's a car, a style of furniture, or a book written a couple of centuries ago, is the fact that its appeal transcends time and culture. People of different ages and backgrounds continue to find something about it uniquely satisfying. When it comes to books, there are more classics to read than there is time to read them before you get to heaven. But don't let that stop you from getting started. If reading is not your favorite pastime, give it another try. In this fast-paced world of sound bites, multitasking, instant messaging, doing something that requires you to sit down and focus for an extended length of time can increase your attention span while it expands your mind. Begin by making your own personal list of classics. These may be titles other, other people have recommended or ones that simply pique your interest. Read book reviews in your Sunday paper and peruse the shelves of your local Christian bookstore for new titles to add to your list. Then, make room for someone one-on-one -on -one time with your chosen classic. Try, I know this is going to be really hard, turning off the TV, stepping away from your email, picking up a book during your free time. If a book doesn't grab you in the first 50 pages, put it down and move on to another title. Now, don't tell anybody at the library I said that, but there are some books that just don't grab your senses. Life is too short to waste on a book that doesn't move or challenge you. And finally, ponder what you read. Ask yourself these questions as you're reading. Did I learn anything new from this book? What did I like most? Disagree with most fervently. Is there any truth that I can apply to my life? What does God think about what I read? Ooh, now that might hurt a bit. Before you know it, you may find yourself hoping heaven has a library the size of the solar system. So, 101 things you should do before going to heaven. Number four, read the classics. The best classic of all is God's holy word. This is Pastor Lynn. Have a good and godly week.